Okay, so I wanted to make a video how to check your uh, ignition coil. I'm kind of too lazy to write this down, so I'm just going to videotape it. So I'm going to show you this, but I just want to get the numbers here. Uh, so the primary between A and B, and I'll explain what this means, is going to be a uh, 0.63 to 0.77 ohms, and the uh, secondary coil to A is going to be 12.8 to 19 kilo ohms. So you can kind of round these, make it easier. I'm just going to say 10 to 20, and 6 to 7. Anyways, and then, so here's your terminal A and B. This doesn't make any sense from this picture very well. So we're going to do from here to here, and that should be our low setting. And then we're going to go from A to um, this center post thing, and that will be our second higher setting. So let me go out there and show you where that what that really looks like. All right, so um, kind of a bad angle, but that'll work. So there's our coil right there. This is just inside the distributor. This is not a video how to get to. This is how to test it. Um, those are, these are the A and the B screws right there, and this is that secondary coil. That whole thing. This is your ignition coil. So first thing you want to do. Let me back up on this here. Is uh, I'm going to test the A and B. What did I say? It was like uh, 0.6 to 0.7 or something like that. So I'm going to put on a low setting. You're going to have to consult your manual on how to how your particular volt ohm meter works. Make sure you got it in the ohm setting. So I'll set up and turn it on. And it reads infinite ohms because it is infinite ohms. Um, and then so you put them together. And the reason why I'm doing this on here, see it's going to be 0.7. So I need to add 0.7 to take account for my lead resistance in this case, because um, this is a pretty low setting. It's almost, you know, not even there. So 0.7. So you're going to subtract 0.7 for your number. So all I'm going to do is set this up, put this on there. I don't know if you can see. This. Joy's not having a camera, man. Um, let me. What I'll do for you is I'll show you where we hook it up and then I'll show you what the settings look like. So that's it right there and I'm just going to hook on these two screws. And unfortunately you can't see it. So then what I'm going to do is uh, come out here and let you kind of see what the meter looks like when I do that. Now it jumps around, there's a little corrosion and stuff on there and you could probably clean that off with some uh, contact, electrical contact cleaner and stuff. But I'll just let you, uh, hopefully you can see the screen on there, what it kind of does. So that was 1.5, we'll just say 15 instead of all that point stuff. And then it was 0.7, we'll just call it 7, so you subtract the 2, was that like 8? And, and I think it said it needed to be, I already forgot what it was. But anyways, it's, it tells you if it's a way out of whack, then you know you got a problem. Um, this is, it was 0.6 to, I don't know, look, read, look in the front of the video, that's where I put, that's why I did that, it's too lazy to look it up. Um, so next I'm going to do that secondary, and what that goes to is you get the first A screw and then you go into this coil. Now for some reason the tip of the probe right there it's not kinda like where you touch and I don't know hopefully it's supposed to be that way but if it wasn't it wouldn't start. Um, there's like a ring around it so you actually touch to the not in the center but off to the side. And again I'll show you how to hook up the probes. Just uh, put it kinda off to the side not right in the center and touch the A. There you go. And I forgot to set my range, so I'm going to do that. I'll show you that in a second. So in my case, it's uh, roughly 15. And I'll show you what the meter looks like on that. So I'm going to do that again. So roughly 15 and so that's how you do that I got and I oh I set this to um 20 kilo ohms so I'm getting less than 20 kilo ohms so the first one is just ohms 
so it's all on the point, around 0.7 ohms. And the second one, which I just did, is, is was 15 kilo ohms. So you just want to make sure it's in the correct range, and uh, that's how you do that. So it's a good thing to do if you're in your distributor anyways, might as well check that. It's pretty easy to do. And then you know you have a, a good coil. And if you ever accept, think you're getting a weak spark or something, you can do that test. And uh, it's kind of nice because I didn't have to like disconnect all the wires or anything. Uh, but uh, So if it was failing at this point, you just take these two screws out, take these wire terminals off, and that coil comes out and you can put a new one in. Anyways, hope this uh, video helped somebody out and hope it made sense. Uh, if it helped you out, maybe give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching.